Good morning. Please be seated. On such a brilliant May morning, it is my great pleasure to call to order the 85th Spring Commencement Exercises of the University of North Carolina at Asheville and to welcome all of you to help honor the achievements of our soon-to-be newest graduates, the class of 2013. I'm delighted to recognize all who have gathered here on this important day. Along with our honored platform guests, we are joined by members of the UNC Board of Governors, the University of North Carolina Asheville Board of Trustees, the UNC Asheville Foundation Board, the National Parents Council, the National Alumni Council, and the Student Government Association. We are also honored to welcome more than 4,000 family members and friends who have joined our graduating seniors here today. You, family, and friends have been their foundation, and they want you to know that your encouragement and support has been vital to their accomplishment. And so the members of the class of 2013 want to take this opportunity to thank you and recognize you for your contributions to their success. So if you are parents, family, friends of today's graduates, will you please stand so we may applaud you. Two things that all the people of UNC Asheville have in common are a desire to make a difference in the world and a drive to do the right things for the right reasons. The dedication to excellence and support of our students by members of our faculty and staff is part of what makes us a leader among colleges and universities across the country. May I now ask that all members of our faculty and staff please stand so that all of us may applaud and thank you. As we delight in the beauty of this day and the beauty of this campus on this spectacular morning, I want especially to thank our facilities and ground staff. The care and attention they give to our campus make it a magnificent place to study and learn and celebrate every day. Please applaud for them as well. At this time, I'm pleased to call to the podium Jacqueline Lowe, Erica Metcalf, Sarah Sanders, and Joseph Tracy, members of the class of 2013, to lead us in the singing of our national anthem. Would you please stand?
please be seated. Each UNC campus is governed by a board of trustees, volunteers who offer their leadership in support of the university. We are pleased to have Sissy Stevens, chair of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, to bring greetings from our board of trustees. Good morning. It is my pleasure as chair of UNC Asheville's Board of Trustees to con congratulate you, our graduating seniors, and to welcome your family members and friends to this momentous occasion. Today, we recognize that each of you, the members of the class of 2013, through hard work, and rig rigorous study have reached an important milestone in your lives. This is your time to shine, to be joyful, and to be justifiably proud of your accomplishments. As you rejoice, I ask you not to forget the many people who helped make today possible. Let us thank our faculty who shared their wisdom and knowledge with you day after day. Thanks to the staff members who supported you while you attended UNC Asheville. And special thanks to your families for believing in the importance of education and for believing in you. I would also hope you would not forget the generosity of alumni and friends of the university, as well as the citizens of North Carolina who continue to demonstrate their belief in you with their continued financial support of public higher education. Because of the education you received here at UNC Asheville, you have what it takes to be the creative and visionary leaders of tomorrow. Go forward into the world that needs your leadership, your enthusiasm, and your discernment. We're counting on you to help make this world a better place, to bring seriously creative approaches to improving your community. Your UNC Asheville education will always be a part of you. And know that your alumna, alumna, al, alma mater, <laughs> whatever, will be behind you all the way. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> the University of North Carolina system are governed by the Board of Governors, comprised of prominent volunteer leaders from all across North Carolina. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our Board of Governor representative and my friend, Walter Davenport. He's a member of the UNC Board of Governors, and he will bring you greetings and he will also present the 2013 Board of Governors Award for Excellence in Teaching. Chancellor Ponder, Ms. Giovanni, Board of Trustee members, platform guests, and participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And to the real reason we're here today, the graduating class of 2013, good morning. On behalf of the entire University of North Carolina Board of Governors and UNC President Tom Ross, it is my great pleasure to bring greetings to you today. To the graduates who have seen these university walls for four or five, and for some six, seven, and eight years. <laughs> it is your time to celebrate this goal that you have attained through your perseverance, commitment, and dedication in the classroom and the partying with your friends on the weekends and sometimes on the weekdays. <laughs> you're finally here at the end of this road. Graduates, congratulations. Your education at the University of North Carolina at Asheville has provided you the knowledge and skills you'll need to achieve success in these ever-changing complex times. And wherever and whatever your future endeavors may be, we encourage you to stay connected to this wonderful university. 
Now, graduates, I don't know how many of you watch TV or how much TV you watch, but as you leave these university walls as a proud bulldog, I ask that you remember the following. As you go through life, don't put your integrity in jeopardy. Don't toss your good name on a wheel of fortune. When you get a good job, the price will be right. Let the guiding light of what you learn be the basis of one life to live. And don't get young and restless because you think you should be in another world. But you will find that you don't need to consult with Dr. Phil or Judge Judy to learn the days of your lives will make a difference to someone. And as you depart from UC Asheville, we have faith that you truly are the bold and the beautiful. And remember one thing, you only have one life to live and live it carefully and safely so you don't end up in General Hospital. Chancellor Ponder, Provost Fernandez, would you please join me? And Professor Linda Corden, please also come forward. It is my pleasure to present this year's Board of Governors Award of Excellence in Teaching to one of your most outstanding faculty members. Established by the Board of Governors in 1994 to underscore the importance of teaching and to reward great teachers across the university, the awards are given annually to a tenured faculty member from each UNC campus. Dr. Linda Cornett, Associate Professor of Political Science, epitomizes the liberal arts mission of the University of North Carolina at Asheville in her seemingly effortless blending of her love for teaching with superb scholarship and excellent service. She writes, our goal as educators is to provide students with the intellectual tools they need to make the world intelligible to them and to provide a basis for choosing among alternative courses of action when confronted with a myriad of opportunities and challenges. This task is especially important and challenging in the field of world politics because the subject matter seems remote and intimidating to students and yet Global forces have an increasingly profound impact on our lives. In order to encourage this enthusiasm for learning and promote critical and creative thinking, Dr. Cornett uses a subject matter from a variety of perspectives. One colleague commented, she brings creativity to her teaching and has the ability to use current events as raw material. An example of this is how Linda organized a moot court, including a trial over Osama bin Laden before the International Criminal Court and European Union. In the process of preparing for and presenting their cases, students learn pertinent international law, legal precedent, and they learn valuable skills communicating their position in both writing and oral argument. She even recruited guest faculty members to act as judges. Dr. Cornette's classroom extends beyond its physical boundaries. She has coached and traveled with student teams to participate in model United Nations competition in Mexico, accompanied students to the Women as Global Leaders Conference in the United Arab Emirates, led service learning alternative spring break trips to Bolivia, and created two six credit international service learning courses in Honduras. One of her former students commented, pass me the matchet is not generally something you hear from your professor, unless it's Dr. Cornette. <laughs> Linda has the roll up her sleeve, no monkey business attitude, in whatever venue her classroom is located. Dr. Cornette, we celebrate your outstanding professional achievement and salute your demonstrated commitment to great teaching and inspiring a new generation of learning in honoring you we also acknowledge the more than 14,000 dedicated faculty members who teach over 220,000 students throughout the University of North Carolina. Congratulations.
It is now my pleasure to introduce the 2012 recipient of the UNC Asheville Distinguished Teaching Award, Associate Professor of Biology, Dr. Ted Miggs, who will present this year's 2013 award. Each spring, one faculty member is, is selected as the University Distinguished Teacher of the Year. In nearly two decades at UNC Asheville, today's awardee has been nominated 10 times for a teaching award, which indicates unflagging effort and passionate, skilled work in delivering our curriculum to students. This teacher embraces the value of research projects as a means for spurring students' development as scientific thinkers and has mentored nearly 40 students in research and published 11 peer-reviewed articles on which students are co-authors. Students are full partners in this process, from initial hypothesis to data collection. Furthermore, this professor teaches students the value of preparing grant proposals to fund their work, and has served as a co-investigator on grants totaling more than $1 million. This professor understands the value of the beautiful, natural classroom that surrounds our campus and city and makes a mission of coaxing students out of the technological trappings that define their daily routine and teaching them the wonders that await them outdoors. She requires students to ask questions regarding such phenomena as the preference of poison ivy for certain tree hosts and underpins these outdoor lessons by giving students a solid grounding on scientific principles in the classroom. Her teaching style is dynamic. In one course, students gather natural materials to assemble into sculptures for an art exhibit. Also, she developed a course in which students hiked to selected sites and received instruction that interweaved local history with plant identification. Student evaluations of this teacher consistently rank among the best in her department, and their comments include, she genuinely wants students to learn and succeed. Literally everything from her course will be beneficial to my career, and the best professor I've had at UNC Asheville, hands down. Her teaching extends to the community. She has taken local school children on field trips to study stream ecology and to track box turtles using a technique called radio telemetry. In her statement of teaching philosophy, today's awardee professes, I love to teach, and I cannot imagine myself doing anything else for a living. These words resonate when placed in the context of the numerous students who have benefited from her knowledge and creativity. It is my privilege to present the 2013 University Distinguished Teacher of the Year Award to Professor of Environmental Studies, Dr. Irene Russell. It is truly an honor to work with such truly outstanding colleagues. These three professors, Linda, Ted, and Irene, model and inspire excellence for all of us. Would Kevin Rumley and Kaylee Fry please come forward to the platform now? Each year, the university recognizes two students for exemplary service to the community and the university. These awards are named in honor of the consummate leaders of the community and university who have been the role models for us and will be for future generations. The first of these awards, the William and Ida Friday Award for Service to the Community, honors the graduate outstanding in service to the community at large. Kevin Rumley, please come join me. Kevin Rumley, this year's Wilma, w William and Ida Friday Award wa uh, was nominated by representatives of several agencies in the community and by several of our professors. His nominators describe Kevin as caring, conscientious, and a proactive community advocate who has a sincere sense of social justice and dedicated civic engagement. 
His volunteer community activities include assisting the homeless in transitioning to permanent housing, working with Special Olympics and the Shiloh Community Garden, as well as the YMCA's Healthy Kids Day and the Fit After 50 Day. Additionally, Kevin volunteered for the Buncombe County Department of Health and Human Services for two years, even after his academic projects for that department were completed. We also honor Kevin today for his service to the United States. A few years ago, Kevin returned from a tour of duty in Iraq where he received a Purple Heart and sustained life-threatening injuries. His re-entry into civilian life has required intensive <laughs> spiritual as well as physical rehabilitation. One of our professors writes, quote, I have been privileged to watch this courageous young man find his way back to health and wholeness, to, to observe his discovery of a compassionate path where generous service to others leads to personal healing. Kevin Rumley, for your truly exemplary service to community, I am proud to recognize you as this year's recipient of the William and Ida Friday Award. The A.C. Reynolds Award is presented to the graduate who is outstanding in service to the campus community. Kaylee, would you please join me? <laughs> Kaylee Fry's leadership and service showcases collective collaboration, attention to facilitating growth and success in others, and a passion for justice. She is committed to diversity. She's committed to social justice issues and community building as exemplified by the work she's done for a variety of campus organizations. She founded UNC Asheville's Feminist Collective. She served as vice president of UNC Asheville's OLA, our Hispanic Student Association, and has served as co-president of UNC Asheville's chapter of the Students for a Democratic Society. As a volunteer for diversity training, she worked diligently with UNC Asheville faculty and students to craft a critical and race conscious approach to diversity training for all UNC Asheville student organizations. Additionally, Kaylee volunteered at Emma Elementary School and coordinated the MANA food bank distributions there. She also organized UNC Asheville students to volunteer for Asheville Habitat for Humanity's Women Build projects. One of her professors points to Haley's contagious spirit and reality of service. Kaylee has an outstanding ability to influence and empower others, facilitate a positive attitude, and take specific steps toward equality and community building. Kaylee Fry, for your outstanding service to UNC Asheville's campus community, I am proud to recognize you with this year's A.C. Reynolds Award and the Thomas D. Reynolds Prize. May I welcome George Hurd to the podium to assist with uh, the awarding of the Manley E. Wright Scholarship Award. The Manley E. Wright Scholarship Award honors the student determined the first in scholarship by the Honors and Degree Programs Committee. It is my pleasure to announce Avery Elizabeth Crawford Artman as the Manley E. Wright Award winner for the 2012-2013 academic year. Avery, would you join me beside the podium? <laughs> Avery graduated in December 2012 with a Bachelor of Science majoring in Health and Wellness Promotion with a minor in Sociology. Avery not only maintained a perfect grade point average in her time at UNC Asheville, she managed to graduate with a major, a minor, and complete the honors program in three and a half years. 
earning a distinction in health and wellness promotion and designation as a university scholar and university research scholar, and will be entering Johns Hopkins University's prestigious Bloomberg School of Public Health in fall 2013. During her time at UNC Asheville, Avery's main undergraduate research project, Hands on Homegrown, was presented at the North Carolina Society for Public Health Education and at the American Public Health Association Conference in San Francisco. One of her other undergraduate research highlights was A Feast for the Common Good, an ancient inspired meal enjoyed by over 200 participants in the 2012 Feast of Dionysus. A research advisor writes, one of Avery's greatest strengths is her knowledge and understanding of public health concepts and principles. She is comfortable researching, critically analyzing, discussing and writing about the social determinants of health, health disparities, public health policy and other key topics in contemporary studies of nutrition, science and public health. Please join me in congratulating Avery Elizabeth Crawford Artman, Manley E. Wright recipient for 2012-2013. I would now ask the chair of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, Sissy Stevens, to join me at the podium to present this year's honorary degrees. Since 1986, UNC Asheville has bestowed an honorary degree, the Doctor of Humane Letters, upon extraordinary women and men whose accomplishments and contributions to humanity represent the very best of the liberal arts tradition. We are deeply honored this commencement day to have with us internationally renowned musician Warren Haynes. Mr. Haynes, would you please join us at the podium? It is always a great pleasure to be able to bestow an honorary degree on a native Ashevillian, someone who grew up here and knows and loves these mountains as we do, and has traveled beyond this region to make his mark in the larger world, and that certainly describes Warren Haynes. Warren Haynes' creativity, his energy, and unique musical chemistry have helped make him a significant force in the rock music scene Haynes has performed and recorded with many bands and musicians, from the Allman Brothers Band to B.B. King, from Bob Dylan and John Hooker to Dave Matthews, Warren Haynes Band Government Mule has recorded 16 albums and played all over the world. What's even more meaningful to hear uh, us here at UNC Asheville is that our native son continues his relationship to home and family. Over two decades ago, Warren began Christmas Jam, a music concert that is a fundraiser for Asheville's Habitat for Humanity. Since then, his annual concerts have raised over $1.6 million for Habitat. Christmas Jam has become renowned for bringing together musicians from many different bands to play together in unusual combinations in the spirit of friendship and spontaneous creativity. Warren himself has said, quote, all the good things that have happened to me, I think, have happened as a result of just doing what's in my heart and, not trying, and trying not to compromise. For being an inspirational member of the Asheville community through your work in support of Habitat for Humanity, and for your internationally acclaimed accomplishments in the field of music, it is with great pleasure that I present to Warren Haynes the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Once again, please congratulate Dr. Warren Haynes.
We are deeply honored this commencement day to have one of America's truly great poets, Nikki Giovanni. Professor Ni Giovanni, would you please join us at the podium? A poet, writer, commentator, activist, and educator, for more than four decades, Nikki Giovanni has given voice to the voiceless in America's struggle for civil rights and equality with some 30 books for adults and children to her credit. Professor Giovanni, a masterful storyteller, is one of the country's most widely read poets. The first recipient of the Rosa L. Parks Woman of Courage Award, Professor Giovanni's activism and artistry have transformed American culture. Called a national treasure and, and a living legend, Nikki Giovanni continues to inspire generation after generation in both word and action. Professor Giovanni first came to UNC Asheville 40 years ago as the featured speaker at our university's first Black Arts Festival, an early program of the then newly formed Black Student Association. She urged our students at that gathering to maximize their talents in order to begin to take control of their own lives, a theme that has been a hallmark of her work. Professor Giovanni returned to our campus in February 2000 to discuss the impact of black Americans on the blues in popular culture, and she read from her then recent book, Blues for All the Changes. It is truly an honor to welcome her back once again to the University of North Carolina at Asheville for your leadership and numerous contributions to poetry, literature, civil rights, and education for being a transformative voice to generations of Americans. It is with great pleasure that I present to Yolanda Cornelia Nikki Giovanni, Jr., the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. It is now my pleasure to welcome our newest uh, honorary degree recipient, Dr. Nikki Giovanni, who will give our commencement address. Thank you. I'm delighted to be at Asheville once again. I, I realize, you know, you don't think about being old until somebody says you did something 40 years ago. <laughs> and you think, oh my goodness. I was thinking though, because I'm a fan of exploration, and I'm a fan of, of, of going out into the world. And I was thinking, of course, of, of Christopher Columbus, because it's, it's somebody we don't think about a lot. And I know a lot of ugly things happen with Columbus. These things happen. And so you say, oh, Nikki, don't mention because of slavery and stuff. But he didn't start it, and he couldn't end it. But that's not the point. The point is, <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> but you know, Columbus, like a lot of us, I teach at Virginia Tech, and a lot of our students, a lot of you, Columbus graduated from high school, you know, and, and, and his, his parents said, you know, Chris, what are your plans? <laughs> and I'm sure that, that Columbus was like, well, Mom, I don't, I, I don't have any plans. I mean, what you gonna, he lives in Genoa, for God's sake, what have you got there? <laughs> Sausage, right? And, <laughs> so you know that there are gonna be some problems, but you know, his mother, I'm a mother of a son, like a lot of mothers of the sons, she's gonna be worried because she knows that if he hangs around Genoa, eventually some girl is gonna knock on the door and say, you know, Miss Columbus, uh, Chris uh, and I have a situation, you know what I'm saying? Something, <laughs> something she doesn't wanna hear. <laughs> and we understand that because what are you gonna do? You're in Genoa for Christ's sake. So <laughs> she's gonna to say to her son, what? Some of our mothers, and I'm sure our fathers, but I think mothers, said to us, son, you gotta go someplace. You got to do something. In that time, he's gonna say, but mama, where am I going? There's no jobs here. What, what can I do? She said, well, you've been talking about the world is round. You've been talking about that forever. You've been talking about sailing around it. But you know, it brings tears to my eyes when I think about his mother because she knows one thing. If she sends her boy out, she may never see him again. 
She's like a lot of parents who encourage their children, go to college, go get a degree, go do, knowing that if you fulfill that dream, they will not see you again, or the you that they see will not be the you that they saw. You will change. But our faith in our children requires that we send you out. So she said to Chris, you have to go, son. You have to go somewhere. Now, I'm sure he wasn't happy, but there was no place to go except Spain. We know that. That's where the money was. There was a war going on, but that's where the money was. Spain was the, what, New York of the day, Los Angeles of the day. It's a foreign country. But nonetheless, he sails to Spain. He's a good-looking guy. He's an Italian. He's, <laughs> he's fun. He eats and drinks. So he's now in Spain, and he's hanging around Isabella, which does not please Ferdinand. <laughs> and he has his friends. So those of you who are men in this room, you know that you have a bunch of friends. And they're saying, you know, Chris, what are your plans? What are you here for? And he said, well, you know, I'd like to go around the world. Maybe I can get somebody to give me a couple of ships. And they're like, man, nobody going to give you no ships. <laughs> so they're laughing. But Ferdinand has noticed that Isabella is noticing this Italian. And Ferdinand said, you know, what do we need to do to get rid of him? <laughs> this is going to happen with a lot of people. For those of us who remember the age of segregation, when black people came to go to college, they said, we don't want to go to school with black people. Where can we send them? So land-grant black colleges were made. So something good came out of it. But it came out for a bad reason. But we're not here for that today. We are celebrating Columbus. <laughs> Ferdinand says, what does he want? He said, that he, needs, he said he needs three ships. So he said, give them to him. Ferdinand's rich, why not? So he got the three ships. Now Columbus is going to have to go back to his drinking buddies because he had them. They'd all said, you know, man, when you get them ships, we'd be with you. Yeah, we're with you. But now that he's got the ships, now that he has a scholarship, now that he can run track, now that he can play football, all of those people that are standing there saying, we're with you, are finding a reason not to go along, not to do their fair share. But Columbus put together, he said, well, let's, let's see where we can go. So he put together a crew, and they sailed out of Spain, and they sailed on up to Gibraltar, as you know, and they sailed on out to the Canary Islands. And this is where our story is enjoined. When they got to the Canary Islands, everybody said, man, you proved your point. You showed that we can sail out. It's time to turn back. You've done what you came to do. And Columbus said, no, I came to discover a new world. We're not there. They said, Columbus, if we continue on this journey, we're going to fall off the earth. We're going to go forward, and we're going to fall off the earth because there's nothing there. You're wrong about that, man. We was just humoring you. And Columbus said, if I perish, I perish. But I'm going to see the king. He knew that whatever was there, if he fell off the earth, it was better than turning back and saying, I can't do it. I come from a generation that could, could not say to our grandparents. We could have said it to our parents because we didn't care. We could have told our parents, no, we can't do it. We can't change America. We can't stop a war. We can't make a more just world. We could have said it to our parents because they're losers too. But we couldn't say it to our grandparents because our grandparents believed in us and loved us. Columbus said, no, I am going to sail on. And you will sail with me because you're on this ship. We must go forward. There is a new world out there. We know that Columbus never found America. We know that he continued to sail and he came into the Caribbean. We know that. We know that he wanted to find the Spice Islands. He never found that but he found a new world. And the world was the world of his heart, that there was something to do that had not been done. And I am saying to you this morning, to the class of 2013, you too must sail on. There are issues that are needing to be resolved. You must sail into that new world. If you fall, if you perish, at least you tried to do something. You must sail on into all of the unknowns and make a better world for every one of us, you can do this. You can sail and you can swim and you can do this and you must, we count on you. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Giovanni. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium Tiffany Drummond Armstrong, class of 1999. She serves as the executive director of the North Carolina chapter of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society and serves as the chair of the UNC Asheville National Alumni Council. Tiffany. Thank you, Chancellor. And thank you and congratulations to Dr. Haynes and Dr. Giovanni. And it is my honor to welcome you to the ranks of UNC Asheville alumni. And to the class of 2013, I look forward in just a few moments to also welcoming you to the ranks of our Alumni Association. Today, we will top more than 18,000 alumni from UNC Asheville and its predecessor colleges. From the first 29 graduates in 1929 to your class today, we have a long and proud lineage that includes congressmen, authors, musicians, environmentalists, artists, corporate and nonprofit executives, community activists, professional athletes, teachers, entrepreneurs, meteorologists, scientists, and physicians, just to name a few. In short, our fellow alumni are out there all over the planet making a difference in the lives of people in their communities, much like our two honorary degree recipients today. In the end, we are regular folks choosing to do extraordinary things. I have to tell you that I am excited to be with you at this particular minute, just moments before you become college graduates. Graduating is no easy task. Barely a quarter of all Americans in this country have a college degree, no less from such a rigorous college. But let me assure you from my experience, in the years ahead, you will face the challenges that life has to offer. You will be well served by your broad-based liberal arts UNC Asheville education. The reason that so many of our graduates are leaders in their fields is because of the women and the men of this faculty and staff have taught us to think broadly and to nimbly adjust to this ever-changing world. Life's tough, but here at UNC Asheville, you have learned the skills needed to ably navigate your life's path. And know, too, that as you face this world, you are not alone. Our Alumni Association is here to serve you. Lifetime membership is a gift of your alma mater. For the rest of your life, UNC Asheville will continue to support you and your endeavors and I call upon you to support your university. On behalf of our fellow alumni, best wishes in all of your pursuits, and remember that now and forever, you're a part of UNC Asheville, its heritage, its folklore, and most importantly, its legacy. Congratulations. It is now my great pleasure to welcome our Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jane Fernandez, to the podium for the conferring of degrees. Will all of the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? <laughs> Chancellor Ponder. These students have completed all of the requirements for the baccalaureate degree and have been so certified by the faculty and the registrar. I present them to you for the awarding of the degrees. In recognition of your successful completion of the course of study and your fulfillment of requirements, by vote of the university faculty, with the approval of the Board of Trustees and the concurrence of the Board of Governors and by virtue of the authority vested in me by these boards and the state of North Carolina, I confer upon each of you as appropriate the degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science and Engineering, or Bachelor of Science. Please come forward to receive your diplomas individually.
Bachelor of Arts, Abigail Lee Agristi. Calvin Alexander Aldridge. Lisa Elaine Allen. Christopher William Amon. Sarah Lee Apperson. Sarah Elizabeth Lewis Armstrong. Distinction in history. Kirsta Shea Arnold. Francis Yvonne Ballard. Caitlin Barrett. Alyssa Ann Belcher. Distinction in sociology. Distinction as a university scholar. Distinction as a university research scholar. Magna cum laude. Catherine Grace Bennett. Nathaniel Thomas Bennett, distinction as a university research scholar. Alexandra Suzanne Bent. Sierra Latvin Bicking, distinction as a university scholar. Summa cum laude. Mary Grace Bigelow. Distinction as a university research scholar. Renee Marion Binderwald. Jennifer Elise Black. Distinction in psychology. Ryan Thomas Blackman. Samuel Beams. Distinction in interdisciplinary studies, cum laude. Amy Virginia Borg, Distinction in Literature, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Ann Boris. Sarah Fox and Bothma, Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Cum Laude. Chad Meredith Bradley. Keith Branham, Distinction in History, Cum laude. Jamie Zanita Bratu. Preston Randall Brennan. Carrie Lee Brewer. William Colin Bridges. Magdalena Soledad Brown. Distinction in Anthropology. Ryan, Michael Ryan Brown. Ezekiel Tate Buchanan. Celeste Corin Burkhardt. Distinction in Mathematics, cum laude. Kelsey Elizabeth Kane. Spencer Stephen Campbell. Philip David Carlin, Distinction in Psychology. Laura Christine Carter, Distinction in Literature, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, cum laude. Alexandra Corey Chauvin, Distinction in History, summa cum laude. Braylon Clara Chidsey, Distinction in Literature, cum laude. Ashley Elizabeth Claude Felter. Maisie Drew Cooley. Stephanie Jewel Coppola. Devin Victoria Corrigan, Distinction in Political Science. Mark Stephen Cortez. Ryan McKinley Cota. Sean Patrick Coughlin, Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences. Kelsey Alyssa Craig. Taylor Francis Doherty, Cum Laude. 
Rebecca Lynn David, Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Magna Cum Laude. Dalton Chain Day. Lauren Michelle DeBoer. Madeline Grace Deger. Anna Karina Diaz. Distinction in Spanish. Sarah Danielle Dickinson. Distinction in Drama. Crystal Raper Diedrich. Caitlin Mariah Doctor. Jordan Melissa Donnelly. Caitlin Alice Donovan. Distinction in Literature, Cum Laude. Christy Colleen Dorn. Chloe Suzanne Edgerton, Distinction in Psychology, Cum Laude. Taylor Randall Edwards. Caitlin Leah Ale, Distinction as a Community Engaged Scholar. Alexandra Elizabeth Ada, Distinction in Literature. Alicia Fran Ellis. Ricky Cohen Emmons, Distinction in Mass Communication. Beth Ann Erickson, Distinction in Sociology, Cum Laude. Alexander Brian Walter Fabisak. Justin Edward Fackler. Katina Brown Farmer, Distinction in History. Caitlin Beth Fisher. Emma Leanne Fitzpatrick, Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Hannah Emily Flake. Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Rebecca Elizabeth Flint. Megan Elizabeth Frey. Kaylee Jewel Fry. Distinction in Women, Gender, and Sexuality Studies. Distinction as a Community Engaged Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Jeremy Sutton Fry. Amanda Connie Fujikawa, Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences, Cum Laude. Brianna Bliss Gardner. Brian Reed Gabhart. Sarah Allison Gailey, Distinction in Mass Communication. Nicole Ashley Gentile. Distinction in History, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Elizabeth Gentry, Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Distinction as a University Scholar. Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Cum Laude. Cameron Joseph George, Distinction in Political Science. Stephen Jordan Garantakis, Distinction in History, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Brian Scott Gillat, Distinction in Religious Studies, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Cum Laude. Rachel Elizabeth Gilmore, Distinction in Spanish. Amanda Ruth Glenn Bradley, Distinction in History. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Brian Paul Gargan. Michelle Leah Goldenberg. <laughs> Hannah Renee Grace, Distinction in Art. Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Magna Cum Laude. Anthony Carmelo Graffinino, Cum Laude. Kaylee Michelle Greenberg. 
just in Lee Green, distinction in history, distinction as a university scholar, cum laude. Lindsay May Greenfield, distinction in sociology, cum laude. Courtney Lynn Haggart. Michael Jacob Hale. Michelle Chrysler Harris, distinction in psychology, magna cum laude. Anna Elizabeth Scarborough Hart, distinction in anthropology. Renee Mary Hartwick. Sierra Rose Hawthorne. Nathan William Heath, distinction in psychology, magna cum laude. Parker Kenton Heck. Corina Lee Hike, distinction in literature, distinction as a university scholar, magna cum laude. Courtney Renee Higgins. Andrew Duncan Hill, distinction in political science, magna cum laude. Anne Marie Hornowski. <laughs> Kathleen Sidnor Hubbard. Kristen Lee Hull, distinction in chemistry, distinction as a university research scholar, magna cum laude. Ashley Rose Hunt. Rachel Victoria Hyde. Ariel Elizabeth James. Sean Daniel Jennings, distinction in political science. Ashley Nicole Johnston. Billy Joe Justice. Distinction in Political Science. Aliska Kalmeyer. Christopher Michael King. Sharon Carol Kefover. Distinction in History. John Hans Kennedy III. Lauren Melissa Keyes. Karen Rebecca Kuhlman. Haley Marie Lampkin Blythe, distinction in political silence, cum laude. Bethany Kate Lanier, distinction in Spanish, cum laude. Mara Sage Laurie. Jennifer Celeste Lawrence, distinction in art. Ruth Elizabeth Lawrence. Jonathan Vance Ledford, distinction in history, distinction as a university scholar, distinction as a university research scholar. Jimmy Lee Lefevre. Madison Beth Lever, distinction as a university scholar, cum laude. John Andrew Lombardi, distinction in mathematics, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude. Sindel Page Lowry. Erica Rose Luke, distinction in psychology, cum laude. Nathaniel Boyce Little. Colleen Marsh. Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Magna Cum Laude. Todd Jefferson Marshall, Jr. Andrew Joseph Martin. Distinction in History. Magna Cum Laude. Lisa Alana Marks. Joanne Lee Mathieu. 
Evangeline Kiho Mamine, Distinction in Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Christian Mewaska. Jacqueline Sarah McCann. Crystal Jade McCarthy. Julia Elizabeth McLernan. Distinction in Literature. Distinction as a University Scholar. Summa Cum Laude. Jessica Margaret McCormick. Distinction in Psychology. Distinction as a University Scholar. Cum Laude. Carrie Lanning McElrath. Distinction in Religious Studies. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Magna Cum Laude. Jamie Elise McFarland. Distinction in Psychology. Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Ashland Magaha. Distinction in Psychology. Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Arlen McGinnis. Distinction in Mathematics. Cum Laude. Anna Elizabeth McGuire. Patrick James McInerney. Peter Stein McKelvey. James Lackey McClellan. Distinction as a Community Engaged Scholar. Shannon Alana McNair. Emily Ann Mercer, Distinction in Economics. Bradley Willem Mercier. Erica Ann Metcalf. Trevor Edward Metcalf. Diane Megan Metzger, Distinction in French, Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Cum laude. Jennifer Son Galeen Meyer. Kenneth Kaiser Michaud, Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences. Cum laude. Michael Joseph Milano. Hattie Lynn My Miller. Kristen Renee Miller. Ethan Andrew Meisenhammer. Sebastian Molina. Zachary William Monard. Elizabeth Ann Moore. Distinction in French, distinction in history, distinction as a university scholar. Halle Margaret Morse. Caitlin Adele Morse, Distinction in Spanish. Garrett Evan Morton. Marcella Louise Malholm, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Emily Hannah Myers, Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences, Cum Laude. Kaylee Dean Naka. Charles Lee Napier. Joshua James Nyberger. Dustin Tyler Nichols. Distinction in Mathematics, cum laude. Morgan Ariel Nierenstein. Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Distinction as a University Scholar. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Cum laude. Jonathan Lamar Wanu Nu. Aaron Joseph Aulis. Distinction in Psychology. Distinction as a Community Engaged Scholar. Magna Cum Laude. Jordan Noel Olson. Sarah Virginia Osborne. 
Rachel Pagan. Catherine June Palm, Distinction in Drama. Hugh Austin Palmer IV. Sarah Caritha Parks. Madeline Ray Parrish. Charlotte Ann Pate, Distinction in Anthropology, Distinction as a University Scholar. Distinction as a university research scholar. Distinction as a community engaged scholar. Cum laude. Melissa Ruth Patrick. Claire Spring Pearson. Distinction in literature. Drew Raymond Peoples. Joshua Robert Pegram. Erin Elizabeth Perko. London Allen Perry. Auburn Lee Petty, Distinction in Mass Communication. Lauren Ashley Pierce. Lauren Marie Porcelli. James Logan Pointer. Andrew David Poranai. Distinction in history, distinction as a university scholar. Grace Ellen Queen. Distinction in literature, cum laude. Alexis Larissa Rachkovsky. Sarah Alexandria Ramirez, Distinction Interdisciplinary Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Bailey Renee Raynor. Alex Scott Rector. Ashley Lord Renfro, Distinction in Literature, Magna Cum Laude. Ashley Lauren Rhodes. Matthew Ryan Riddle. Jennifer Alexis Regal. Distinction in literature. Distinction as a university scholar. Cum laude. Kelly Patrice Riles. Nicholas Branch Reinhardt. Distinction in Interdisciplinary Study. Distinction in Spanish. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Magna Cum Laude. Derek General Roberts. David William Rogers. Griselda Maribel Romero. Distinction in Spanish. Cum Laude. Lina Viktorovna Ropalo. Miranda Michelle Roper. Carrie Gabriel Roth. Distinction in Literature. Distinction as a University Scholar. Sarah Gail Rothman. Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences. Magna Cum Laude. Eric Michael Rowe. Erin Grace Royal. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Jordan Marie Rucker. Abigail Elaine Ruffle. Distinction in Psychology. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Cum laude. Heather Michelle Same. Sarah Ellen Sanders. Madison Ann Savage. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Lillian Annie Scarf. Distinction in Art. Distinction as a University Scholar. Cum laude. Mayon Galex Schechter. 
Daphne Joanna Shank. Erica Jill Shanasi. David Abraham Schmeltikoff. Distinction in Multimedia Arts and Sciences. Andre Alexander Schmidt. Distinction in Psychology. Elizabeth Lee Schultz. Beth Samantha Shermans. Distinction in Sociology, magna cum laude. Taylor Pierce Scott. Jesse Michael Scudder Cotherman. Sydney Shea Setzer. Erin Brittany Shaw. Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Distinction as a university scholar, magna cum laude. Mikhail Alice Sherrill. Richard Matthew Shu. Lauren Ray Shofetti. Elizabeth Catherine Schoen. Distinction in economics, cum laude. Kyle James Silva. Jessica Rebecca Simons. Donnell Jerome Sloan. Distinction in political science, cum laude. Stephanie Rachel Smiley. Distinction in psychology. Distinction in Spanish, magna cum laude. Elena Michelle Smith. Distinction in Sociology. Distinction in Spanish. Distinction as a university scholar. Magna cum laude. Amy Christina Smith. Kyle Benjamin Smith. Shane Marie Smith. Sarah Christine Staten. Anna Virginia Stearns. Hannah Ryan Summit, Distinction in History, Summa Cum Laude. Christina Brooke Swanger, Magnum Cum, cum Laude. Elizabeth Ann Schweitzer, Distinction in Anthropology, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Francis Zampel. Distinction as a university research scholar. Tasnim Shakib Tabale. Sean Michael Caleb Tamborini. Grace Morgan Taylor. Distinction as a university scholar. Distinction as a university research scholar. Rachel Virginia Taylor. Distinction in Interdisciplinary Studies. Distinction in Spanish, cum laude. Susan Elizabeth Thomas. Distinction in Anthropology. Laura Renee Tinney. Joseph Charles Tracy III. Kelsey Ann Trimber. Jessica Ann Trimnell, Distinction in Literature, Cum Laude. Olivia Lori Tripp. On Van Trong. Christina Taylor Vandeveer, Distinction in Mathematics. Lauren Elizabeth Van Naps, Distinction in Art. Caitlin Margot Verar. Tirsa Christine Villagas. Sarah Courtney Vinton. Julianne Lee Vogel. Matthew Peter Wason. 
distinction in economics. Michael Jeremiah Walker, distinction in mathematics, distinction as a university research scholar, summa cum laude. Sarah Stewart Walters, distinction in mass communication. Emily Catherine Watson, distinction in multimedia arts and sciences, distinction as a university research scholar, summa cum laude. Jacob Thor Watson, distinction in interdisciplinary studies, distinction as a university scholar, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude. Ryan Anthony Watson, Stephanie Lee Watts, Sarah Beth Weatherman, <coughs> Reed Malloy Weigunner, Distinction in Music, Margaret Frances Weingarten, Rebecca Marie Wertheim, Distinction in Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Krista Elizabeth Wheeler. Camille Lynn Wick, cum laude. Caitlin Blue Williams, distinction in sociology, cum laude. Jessica Selena Isabel Willig. Clara Amanda Wilson, distinction in history, cum laude. Amber Nicole Wireman. Jacob Sheridan Wisnowski, distinction in psychology, distinction as a university research scholar, magna cum laude. Sarah Charlotte Wolf, distinction in anthropology. Lindsay Nicole Woody. Catherine Elizabeth Worley, distinction in German. Stuart Elizabeth Worley. Michelle Leanne Wright, distinction in chemistry, summa cum laude. Chialia Ying, distinction in multimedia arts and sciences. Glenn Yoder IV. Claudia Nadine Yoakum. Marissa, Marissa Christine Zarab Sadeh. Kristen Marie Zavaraki, distinction in psychology. <coughs> Bachelor of Fine Arts, Adam Cable, distinction in art, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude. Teresa Margaret Darling, distinction in art, distinction as a university research scholar. Emily Kathleen Allison, distinction in art. Catherine Ann Holloway, distinction in art, cum laude. Katie K. Johnson, distinction in art, distinction as a university research scholar, magna cum laude. Sabrina Louise Colton, distinction in art, distinction in multimedia arts and sciences. Michael Anthony Risch, distinction in art. Mary Grace Wynn, distinction in art, distinction as a university research scholar. Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree awarded jointly by UNC Asheville and North Carolina State University. Jonathan Michael Shalve, distinction in engineering, summa cum laude. Andrew Hugh Cornell. Daniel Gillibrand Melling. Joseph Micah Prendergast, distinction in engineering, summa cum laude. Rodney James Presley, Jr. Michael Adam Schneider, distinction in engineering, cum laude. Andres Andrew David Zorn. Bachelor of Science, 
Brent Matthew Allison, Distinction in Accounting, Cum Laude. Josephine Lisa Babuin, Distinction in Environmental Studies, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Carolyn Ann Baucus, Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Distinction as a Community Engaged Scholar. Nicholas Roy Baldelli. William Howard Barra. George Duncan Barnes. Ryan Nelson Barnett. Abby Nicole Barrows. Distinction Health and Wellness Promotion, Summa Cum Laude. Hannah Brown Bayless. Mary Beata Beal. Mitchell Brett Benway. Brandy Lynn Benz. Distinction in Environmental Studies, Cum Laude. Danielle Marie Betke. Distinction in Computer Science, Cum Laude. Grace Ella Blaylock, Distinction in Health and Wellness Promotion, Magna Cum Laude. Catherine Jane Boss. Alan Christopher Bazar. Douglas Neil Brawley, Jr., Distinction as a University Research Scholar, Cum Laude. Jamie Doyle Brown. Weston Kent Brown. Stephen Curry Berman. Nicholas Millar Burry. Emma Kelly McCleary Bussard. Distinction in Art, Distinction in Health and Wellness Promotion. Distinction as a University Scholar. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Cum laude. Caitlin Ann Cassisi. Samuel Andre Chalve. Distinction in Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude. Eric John Christensen. Cassidy Hayes Cooper. Distinction in Biology. Distinction as a University Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Judith Ann Council, Distinction in Biology. Thomas Eugene Crowder. Brittany Ann Curtis, Distinction in Management. Zachary William Curtis, Distinction in Environmental Studies, Cum Laude. Nicole Michelle Dexter, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Scott Linwood Dinsmore, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Jesse K. Dabler. <laughs> Howard Lewis Dorch IV. Dorothy Elizabeth Doyle. Blake Melinda Everhart, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Ashley Nicole Feltz. Jack Allen Fortenberry. Robert Antonio Francis, Distinction in Biology, Cum Laude. Amanda Ray Franzak, Distinction in Environmental Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Shante Sierra Freeman. Grant James Guidus. Gregory Gay. Devin Marie Gaynor, Cum Laude. Samuel Parker Gettleman. Matthew Lance Gillespie. Daniel Joseph Habib. Distinction in Music Technology. 
Chelsea Elaine Hall, distinction in biology, cum laude. Tyler Patton Hamilton, distinction in biology, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude. Jessica Ann Harris, distinction in biology, magna cum laude. Nathan Ryan Harris. Katie Lynn Hasselhoff. Douglas James Hessler. Rebecca Jean Hoffman, distinction in biology. Distinction as a university research scholar, magna cum laude. Natalie Wen Ho, distinction in German, cum laude. Kayla Lynn Huffman, distinction in biology. Distinction as a university research scholar, summa cum laude. Hannah Victoria Jeske. Erin Rose Keenan. Elizabeth Samantha Kyle. Jamie Lee Kelchner. Chelsea Lorraine Kenley. Patrick Christian Kuntz. Ian Matthew Kotke. Jonathan Spies Kramer. Distinction and Management, cum laude. Brittany Elaine Krasutsky Kirk Thomas. Marion Celine Lamb. Distinction and Management, cum laude. Adrian Langeard. Kelsey Amanda Lacare. Donald Wesley Lyles. Lucas Emmett Link. Jacqueline Danielle Lowe. Gentry Lauren Manley. Ryan James Matthews. Sarah Morgan Matthijs, Distinction in Computer Science. Catherine Rose McClellan. Taylor Pierce McLaren, Distinction in French. Heather Lorraine McElwain, Cum Laude. Corey Ann McInnes. Daniel De Morais. Mendonca, Distinction in Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary James Michener, Distinction in Computer Science. Robert Elliot Morris, Distinction in Physics, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Hillary Rose Murphy, Distinction in Health and Wellness Promotion, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Distinction as a community engaged scholar, cum laude. Rulon Nicholson. Elizabeth Ann O'Hare. Mary Marie Elizabeth Olson. Leonti Ostapovich Jr. Isana Aisha Pashir. David Daniel Power. Flannery Michael Pearson Clark. Distinction as a university scholar. Claire Nicole Powell. Distinction as a university research scholar. Evan Lee Raymond. Ferris Amelia Roberts, Distinction in Management, Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Andrew James Robinat. Nicholas Lane Rodriguez. Lauren Nicole Rose. 
Isaac Edward Rawls, Kevin James Rumley, distinction as a university research scholar, distinction as a community engaged scholar, Michaela Rowe Scobie, distinction in biology, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude, Joshua Robert Seligson, Stephanie Michelle Sign, Mary Belinda Smith Gagnon, distinction in computer science, cum laude, Mark Thomas Snelson, distinction in biology, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude, Logan John Stagg, distinction in physics, distinction as a university research scholar, cum laude. Stephanie Stewart, distinction in health and wellness promotion, cum laude. Zachary Ian Stoker, distinction as a university research scholar. James Nicholas Stone, distinction in atmospheric sciences. Lindsay Jane Thompson, distinction in management, summa cum laude. Sarah Chase Rybacki Tyndall, Distinction in Health and Wellness Promotion. Distinction as a University Scholar. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Distinction as a Community Engaged Scholar. Cum laude. Dylan Alexander Tussie. Distinction in Environmental Studies. Jeremy Mylander Vallon. Taylor Grashit Vaughn. Distinction in Health and Wellness Promotion. Cum laude. Jessica Lynn Warren. Michael Paul Warshinsky. Jennifer Lynn Watkins. Ezekiel Jonathan Watts. Distinction in Health and Wellness Promotion. Magna Cum Laude. Todd Logan White. Catherine Diane Wilkes. Distinction in Environmental Studies. Martin Craig Wilson, Jr. Distinction as a University Research Scholar. Thomas Bray Winesett. Robert Glenn Wise, Jr. William Edward Edwin Nicholas Wolf IV. Benjamin Michael Woody.
From the brass quintet to the ringing of the bell and the resonance of our bagpipes, to the beautiful voices of our senior quartet, to the emotional and lyrical poetry of Nikki Giovanni, music has been a part of our ceremony. In one of her poems, Nikki Giovanni writes that a poem is pure energy. That is how we, your family and friends, professors and all of us here at UNC Asheville feel about you, our graduates. You, each one of you, is dear to us and that's why we are here today, to sing your praises, to cheer and applaud. As we conclude this verse of your life, we also launch you into your next refrain. As a UNC Asheville graduate, you know that your liberal arts education prepares you with great expectations, we send you, our newest graduates, out to make tomorrow's world a better place. We are so proud of you. Please stand for the proclamation. Standing together, the class of 2013, stand together and as I read these words, move your tassels to the left by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, the UNC Board of Governors, and the great state of North Carolina. I proclaim you graduates of the University of North Carolina at Asheville. Congratulations. Please be seated. I welcome all of you to stay here on the quad for a reception. The reception is hosted by the National Alumni Council. For everyone's safety, please remain at your seats until the platform party, the faculty, and our newest alums have recessed to the Phillips and Pisgah end of the quad. Please meet your graduates at their respective departments as indicated by the large signs behind us in the university quadrangle. Graduates, as you leave here today and go into the world, I know that you will remember fondly your alma mater, the University of North Carolina at Asheville, and your accomplishments here. At this time, would you please stand as our singers, Jacqueline Lowe, Erica Metcalf, Sarah Sanders, and Joseph Tracy lead us in the singing of our alma mater, the words are printed on your program on page 38. Hey. 